Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to supercharge the audio on your Android device by installing the Sound Enhancement and Dolby Abness module from the Sony Xperia 10. This Majisk module brings Sony's powerful audio processing and immersive Dolby Atmos to your phone. Before we jump in, let's make sure your device is ready. There are a few key requirements you'll need to meet. Okay, listen up because this is extremely important. There is a possibility of a boot loop, a soft brick, or a service failure, especially if you're using a read-only ROM and plan to activate the Dolby Atmos feature. To avoid these issues, it is strongly recommended that you use Majisk Delta or Kitsune Mask. This is a critical step for a safe installation on certain system setups. All right, now that we have the warnings out of the way, let's get into the installation guide. I'll walk you through it step by step. Remember, all the download links for the files I mentioned will be in the video description below. Cleanup. If you have any other Dolby Majisk modules installed, you need to remove them first. The only exception is if you're updating this exact same module. In that case, you don't need to remove the old one. Once you've removed any conflicting modules, go ahead and reboot your phone. For users with inbuilt Dolby, this is a special step for those whose ROM already came with some form of Dolby pre-installed. Install the module. Now, go ahead and install the main Sound Enhancement and Dolby Atmos module. You can do this directly through the Majisk app, the Kernel SU app, or by flashing it in a custom recovery if you have one. Install AML if needed. This step is only for users who are using other audio modification modules alongside this one. If you have another audio mod, like Viper 4 Android, if this Sony module is your only audio mod, you can skip this step. A quick note for Kernel SU users. If you're using Kernel SU instead of Majisk, you need to change one setting. Open your Kernel SU app, go into the settings, and make sure to disable the Unmount Modules by Default option. This is required for the module to work correctly after a reboot. Final Reboot Once you've completed all the necessary steps, the final thing to do is reboot your phone. And that's it! After your phone boots back up, the Sony Sound Enhancement and Dolby Atmos features should be active. You can check your app drawer for a Dolby Atmos app or look for new sound settings in your system's audio section. I hope this guide was helpful. If you ran into any issues, feel free to ask in the comments section. All the necessary download links are waiting for you in the video description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.